<clears throat> I'll speak a, try to speak a little bit about um, our experience here in Trinidad. Um, we are, of course, in producing, processing, and distribution of uh, retail and food service items here in Trinidad and export in the Caribbean. So, <clears throat> to speak a little bit about the raw material availability and uh, and price. I need to take you back. Uh, I would say when I got first got got into the business in in into the processing, and um, if we go back 25, 30 years, in in Trinidad, the supply, the state of the fishery then there was an, an abundant uh, local supply of seafood um, of our local species. There was really uh, you know no no issue with supply and um, you know that the exporters and the processors had access to large quantities of seafood that you know they could export fresh or process and distribute locally and export as well you know um, and prices were at a level that allowed you know the average person the average consumer to, to, to have access to, to seafood you know uh, you know in a, in a more um, you know in a in a big way, because it was a very, very strong supply. And I think that is the overall idea of um, if we want to decrease uh, our Im reliance on imports, you know, we have to be able to, to produce ourselves. We, we may not be able to produce, uh, you know, every type of fish, of course, because there's, you know, many different species and some islands, we're all different. Um, all the, the, the we all are different, made up different, diff, have different uh, geography and different uh, types of fisheries, you know. So, um, but going back, as I say, 20, 30 years ago, the supply was very abundant. The price was was, you know, very affordable to to many people across the population. But if we fast forward to today, the situation is uh, is we see a considerable decline, you know, on the supply side, and um, you know, this 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 could be 50, 60, 70 percent reduction in supply, which which has pushed prices up significantly, and um, you know, open open the the door to to more imports, of course, you know, um, and then also from. Uh, you know, people will switch to, to, to cheaper protein, you know, whatever is available, they'll eat. So, I mean, so hence, hence the reason, I think that's the main reason for uh, the, the uptick in, in the imports. Um, and, uh, you know, Trinidad has seen, as I say, we are definitely, you know, we are definitely uh, a major contributor to that, I, I know because um, of that supply issue. So, you know, I, I think that's where the main, the main um, issue is. And I think Guyana and Suriname and, and all the other territories, you know, Barbados is the same thing. Barbados, haven't, we haven't seen flying fish in, 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 in four, five, six years, seven years in, in, the, in the volumes that, that were available. And I know in Suriname and Guyana, they, they have, they have uh, issues as well, where the inshore fishery is 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 uh, really in a decline. Um, so, and I I think well from our experience here in Trinidad, I think the management of the the fisheries, uh, the inshore fishery especially, um, has not been what it should be, and. That is what has caused the decline. So there's an opportunity there. So, so of course, um, if we could, if we could, um, you know, somehow have better management of our fisheries. Of course, there are other contributors to, to it as well, which is things that were spoke, you know, we've spoken about. Um, overfishing is the, is the most serious problem, I think. And then you have your pollution and your 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 habitat loss, of course, and climate change. But overfishing is the, the, the main problem here because um, Trinidad basically um, has an open fishery. So anyone can, can, can buy a vessel, 
they can fish uh, anywhere, anytime, catch any size fish and sell it year round, 365 days a year. So it's an open fishery. Um, there are a lot of nets uh, being used around the island, right around the island. That is that has destroyed to a large extent the inshore fishery. Um, so, you know, I think that uh, that is one of the, you know, the main the main reason we see the decline. Um, it was mentioned, I think, earlier that Trinidad was a main producer of aquaculture, but I am I I don't know about that for sure. Um, the government has pushed fish farms for many years, uh, mainly tilapia, and and I and I don't know of anyone who's producing tilapia on the island in any sort of volume. Um, it's mostly all imported. I don't, I, I don't think um, we have the resources to do it here and um, the land or the labor, the cheap labor to compete with what is done internationally in, in, the, in the other big countries. Uh, but I, and I don't know of anyone that is producing tilapia here in any, any sort of uh, commercial volume and maybe, you know, small, you know, Small, small quantities, but um, the, there is an opportunity to improve the management of the fisheries. I think, and uh, therefore, uh, you know, fish, the fish, the fisheries can come back very quickly. We, as, as we have seen in, in in many parts of the world, where fisheries are managed properly, and um, that will definitely help reduce imports, um, because you know we can we can have that supply. There is opportunity in the offshore sector in Trinidad, um, which has done well in the last, I would say, has improved in the last 20 years, um, the tuna fishery. Uh, we've seen, a, we've seen a, 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 an improved uh, investment there. It is, a, it is a, an area that, uh, that has opportunity, and um, maybe for the other islands, it's something that uh, could be looked at, but that is, outside of the EZ basically. So these are uh, long line vessels fishing way offshore. Um, but this fishery I think has a lot of potential and um, I, I have seen growth here over the last 20, 25 years. So, um, and, and, th with that, and that basically th those, those species that they're targeting there are mainly for export. So you are earning valuable foreign exchange and offsetting your import uh, food bill by by exporting more. So basically, if we had more supply, we could we could definitely see a reduction in, uh, you know, in that import bill. It may be whatever species we are strong in. I mean, each island is different and has, you know, some as lobster, some lobster and conch, some, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, shrimp, uh, gray snapper, whatever you know. The islands have, or, or every every territory has a has its different fisheries. So, you know, the the way forward is supply, the increased production. It, I mean, from the sea. Um, I think the, the the region has the capacity, I've, I've seen how many processors there are, like 170 processors or something like that, but, um, you know, we have the capacity, we have the, the capability to, to process the product, but my, I think the main problem is, you know, is, is, is your supply of raw material. And um, I think Nigel spoke, my, Nigel was asking in his presentation about the constraints for ramping up production in salted fish, let's say, but we don't we don't have that raw material availability to produce a product like that you know in, in the volume that would need to be to be uh, produced you know so that's just my ideas um, from my experience um, I'd be happy to and uh, try to answer any questions after so I mean I will um, hand you back over to, to Jennifer at this point in time thank you